Welcome to our monthly video to ignite God's purpose in kingdom-minded men. Hey men, and welcome to another Ignite Purpose video. Today I want to talk about Activate again. This is the season of Activate. We start our new class on May 19th at PBC at 1015 in the morning, and everyone is welcome to come. So I really hope that you will get on this journey with me. It's been transformational for me. I've spent about, gosh, two years unpacking this stuff and reworking it. And I think this is about the fifth or sixth version of the class that we're doing. And it, it's really revolutionized my thinking and my walk with God. It started with just recognizing that God does want to talk to us. And a lot of people struggle with that because they don't necessarily hear from God. They, they say they don't. They say, well, she hears from God, but like, I don't hear from God. And as I leaned in and started to really open up my heart and recognize that God did want to speak with me, I had to start unpacking some of the lies that I believe about myself that were really holding me back from God. And the one most transformational thing that I went through was just making a list of the lies and the strongholds that I believed about myself. And then just taking time to pray through that list and ask God what he said. And one of the most profound things that happened was, I have to admit, I really felt like I was stupid. I wasn't smart enough to understand scripture. I wasn't smart enough to, to hang with the, the theologians of you guys that are out there that really dig into the heady stuff of scripture. So for years, I just avoided it and kind of make, made up my own coping mechanisms to not put myself in a position where I would look stupid. So that was a big deal for me. So I, that was like number one on my list. So as I prayed about it, I sat there and I knew, I, I thought it was gonna take a long time for God to speak to me. And I said, even, even prerequisite God, if I hear the word smart, I know that's too simple and that won't transform me. So I just stared at the page and looked at that word stupid and something happened. In about two minutes, I heard God say innovative and I was like, innovative? And all of a sudden I realized innovation versus stupid made a lot of sense because I look at everything in a more innovative way, mean, meaning I don't look at it like you. I don't see it like you. I don't think like you because I'm always looking at things from an innovative way, trying to improve them and actually get excited about learning differently than most people. And I tell you what, it was amazing how transformational that thought was to go from stupid to innovative and how that changed my perspective of myself, of God, of scripture. And as I continued to lean into it, I realized more and more that God purposely made my identity as an innovator so that I could help others come to Jesus in a clear way that, that really fits them and not a standard that they can't adhere to. Romans 12 too has been an inspirational verse that's helped me get past stupid towards innovative because it's forced me to start renewing my mind. It says, do not conform to the pattern of this world or the pattern of your lies, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, his good, pleasing, and perfect will. His perfect will is not stupid. His perfect will for me is to allow me to understand my innovative gift. And I bet you he has some perfect will gifts for you that you may be covering up with your own coping mechanisms and believing the lies of the enemy like I have been believing. So I hope this helps you guys understand that God has more. And I hope you can also get involved in Activate that starts May 19th. This Activate class will be the trigger, the catalyst that could start to allow you to hear God, understand he has a new identity. Actually, it's not even new. It's the identity he's always had for you, but you have to get past the lies and the coping mechanisms that you've built around yourself to protect yourself so that he can 
touch your heart and allow you to see him in a way that you've possibly never seen him before. So I encourage you, invite you, contact me, come out on May 19th. There'll be men's groups starting on that Thursday. There'll be a co-ed group starting on Sunday the 19th and there's women's groups too. So we have something for everybody. So I can, I hope you can come out and join us and start the transformation journey of Activate for yourself so you can live, love, and lead more and more like Jesus. God bless your week.